Check out the imbalance in shoulder blade movement during these pull-ups. We started testing with the wall screen. With palms down, he was unable to raise his left arm nearly as far to the wall as his right. When going palms up, the problem got even worse as you can see. When trying to pull his elbows down to his sides in a back squat position, you can see it's much harder to keep his left hand against the wall. These findings showed that the restriction was due to an inability to externally rotate and elevate the shoulder. The problem is often due to restrictions in larger lat and smaller teres major muscles found on your back, both which are strong internal rotators of the shoulder. I recommended he start on a program of soft tissue mobilization starting with foam rolling and arm raises with a tennis ball trapped against the lateral shoulder both for one to two minutes. He then followed it up with the box lat stretch with the elbows elevated and arms positioned at a V. You then sit back and round your upper back until a stretch comes out in the lateral armpit region. Last, he did some eccentric curl-ups. This is a great way of lengthening the lats and teres under load to improve flexibility. Just control your lower for 5 seconds. After just one session, you can notice huge improvements in his motion with both raises and the wall slide. And after a week of exercises, he could already see large differences in his coordination during the pull-up. Here's another recent video from his page, and as you can see, a dramatic difference from that very first video. They say that energy flows where attention goes so i pay no mind why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos these people have